Hi everyone, in this video, we will learn a very interesting article I have found, nine things you should consider before embarking on a PhD. So here is, this is the uh, personal opinion by an author who had finished his PhD program on 21st, 23rd June 2021 recently. So he had shared his views and he had uh, whatever his experience. So he had written as a editor's note, you can see when Andy Greenspan wrote his article, he was a first year student in applied physics at Harvard. And now he has completed his PhD, right, on June 23, 2021. So basically, he had uh, written, he had advised, number one is, um, so before, I, I think he had mentioned here, uh, sometimes it is hard to know which advice to focus on and what will make the biggest difference in the long run. So before you go back to, here is daydreaming about the day, you accept that Nobel Prize here are nine things you should give serious thoughts to. to. So here is number one is actively seek out information about PhD program. Uh, there may be more or less support to guide you in selecting a PhD program, but there is generally much less than when you apply to college. So you do you should not wait for your career center or department to lay out a plan for you. Actively seek it out from your career center, counselors, your professors, the internet, and especially from alumni from your department who are in or graduated from your desired PhD program. So first-hand experience will almost always trump that knowledge you get secondhand. Then is second point is the second most interesting. A PhD program is not simply a continuation of your undergraduate program. It's not like a undergraduate program. Here is that is a in uh, that is a full fledged PhD program, and uh, the goal is not to complete an assigned set of courses as in an undergraduate program. So it's not similar like undergraduate program, but to develop significant and original research in your area of expertise, you will have required course to take, especially if you do not have a master's degree yet. So, but these are designed merely to complement your research and provide a broad and deep knowledge base to support you in your research endeavors. And here is grades are not critical as long as you maintain the minimum GPA requirement. So graduate courses tend to be designed to allow you to take away what you will find useful to your research more than a drill, a rigid set of facts and techniques into your brain. Next one is the take a break between your undergraduate education and a PhD program. So here is the beginning your senior year of college and your classmates are asking as if you are applying to graduate school, you think to yourself, well, I like studying this topic and the associated research and I am going to need a PhD. If I want to be a professor or to do in independent research, so I might as well get it done as soon as possible. But do you know where you want to live for the next five years? Are you prepared to stay in an academic environment for nine years straight, right? I mean, it depends on you uh, how long in, in, in our uh, country the, the situations are different. So many people burn out or end up here is a PhD program without um, thought about what lies outside of or beyond. So basically, a break of a year or two or even more may be necessary to gain perspective. And many people take a job for five or more years before going back to get their PhD sometimes. And here is a one year break will give you six months or so after graduation before PhD applications are due. Then is, then we come to the, here is, this one is the, I mean, he had shared his views. I presented this research at two national conferences as well. Uh, first for me, I was also able to learn about other research being performed there. 
And the next point is your current area of study does not dictate what you have to study in graduate school. So here is the studying the function and regulations of membrane proteins or doing a computational analysis of the conductivity of different battery design. But that does not mean your PhD project must revolve around similar kind of projects. So you must remember not similar kind of what is your interest area, right, where you want to perform your PhD. So you may find that you love the alternative research and devote your PhD to it. You might hate it and fall back on your previous area of study, or you may even discover a unique topic that incorporates both subject but here is fifth next next one is the point is make sure phd program has a variety of research options and learn about as many research groups as possible in your first year so here is uh, you should find a phd program where the professors are not all working in the same narrowly focused research area make sure there are at least three professors working on an array of topic you could imagine yourself working on so uh, that point must be and uh, very very relevant and very uh, helpful to you you should explore the research of a diverse set of groups after touring their lab, talking to the students or sitting in on a group meeting, you may find that this group is the right one for you. That is, we are talking about that is the science related PhD. And but in the in terms of the management, we do not have such kind of labs, but it's still, uh, those are the research scholars. We must talk to them what kind of problems they are facing when they are pursuing their PhDs. And what are the nowadays, I mean, what is the area where you can go for PhD? So location is more important than you think, but name recognition is not, right? That is the next point here is PhD program should be, is there research at this university that I am passionate about? After all, you will have to study this topic in detail for four or more years. But when considering the location of a university, you first thought should not be, I'm going to be in the lab all the time. So that does it matter if I am by the, by, by the beach in a city or in a middle of nowhere. So here, nowhere. So here is now we talk about the next point is those time management skills you developed in college, develop them further. So basically PhD program time management reaches a whole new level. You will not only have lectures to attend the homework to do, you will have to make time for your research which will include spanning extended periods of time in the lab, analyzing data, etc. And uh, here is now the next point is expect to learn research skills on the fly or to take advantage of the training your department or career center offers. So from uh, his experience, very few college students or even PhD students receive formal training on how to perform any of these tasks. So whenever the facilities are providing by the university, you must attend those kind of workshops, those kind of seminars, those kind of conferences. Definitely, these things would be helpful to you, right? And do not get discouraged, but plan to spend extra efforts getting used to those procedures and systems. The last point is there are no real breaks. So in a stereotypical nine to five job, when the workday is over or the weekend arrives, you can generally forget about your work and a vacation provides an even longer respite. But PhD program, your schedule becomes whenever you find time to get your work done, you might be in the lab during regular work hours or you might be working until 10 p.m or later to finish an experiment or fish in, fish, uh, to finish any assignment. So might have available to analyze data might be at 1 a.m. So there is, it should not be time bounded, right? And it might be possible you are searching some literature 
and uh, why here is he is also sharing his experience while this may seem like uh, here is uh, downer remember that you should have passion for the research you work on most of the time so you should be excited to think up new experiments or different ways to consider that data you have collected so a phd program is quite the commitment and rarely lives up to expectations but it is well worth the time effort you will spend for something that truly excites you so this is the a uh, very interesting very interesting editorial article i think all the phd scholars those are pursuing their phd number of phd scholars they had asked me ma'am kindly prepare the video like this so i had i just i i like this 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 piece of work so that is why i'm going to share with you so keep watching stay tuned <laughs>